Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from amandacrochets.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this easy and beautiful sprig stitch baby blanket. The sprig stitch baby blanket is made using cell striping yarn so it ends up being this very pretty striped blanket. This is an easy blanket that anybody can make even beginners and I really like the texture of it a lot. I think it turned out really well. So I made this using a Karen Cake yarn. However, you can use any yarn you would like to complete this blanket. This blanket ended up being 27 inches wide by 34 inches long. However, you can always change up the multiple at the beginning of your chain in order to make this blanket wider or longer. It really all depends on your preference. So again, this is the Sprig Stitch Baby Blanket, and as you can see, it has a nice pattern and texture to it. I really like this stitch a lot. I actually made this for a t tutorial a few weeks ago in my Crochet 101 tutorial, so I will go ahead and link that below if you want the full tutorial on how to make this stitch. But this is what the Sprig Stitch looks like. And then I will also show you at the very end how to make the top of your blanket straight by adding that final row to your blanket. So let's get started. So for today's tutorial, you're going to need a size H 5mm crochet hook. And you're also going to need two cakes of the Cairn Cake yarn. This is from their Lovely Layers collection. And I used sugared blueberries. You can use whatever you would like, but I just used this and I really enjoyed the self-striping colors of this a lot. You're also going to need a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors and a measuring tape is also helpful if you want to get that exact size. So in order to begin, you're going to need to make your slip knot, of course. And to make the sprig stitch, all you're going to need is to chain a multiple of 4 plus 3. So that means you're going to multiply any number by 4, and once you get your desired width, you're going to add 3 more chains onto the very end. So for my Sprig Stitch Baby Blanket, I ended up making 123 chains. So I did a multiple of 4, which ended up being 120, and then I added 3 more chains onto the end. You could always change up your chain, like I said, to make a bigger and wider blanket if you choose or you can do the same multiple that I did, which again is 123 chains. However, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to be making a chain of 19. So to make a chain, you're going to do yarn over your hook, insert your hook through that loop on your hook. So let's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Continue making chain, a chain until you get 123 or your desired width. Okay, now that you got your 123 chains or your desired width, you're going to make two single crochets into the fourth chain from your hook. So to count four chains, you're going to skip this loop on your hook, which does not count as a stitch, and you're going to count four chains from your hook. So one, two, three, and four. And in that fourth chain, you're going to make two single crochets. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. And that is your single crochet. Now you need to make one more single crochet into that same chain. So again, insert your hook into that same chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. So now you have two single crochets in that same chain. Next you're going to chain two, so one and two, and you're going to make two single crochets into that very next chain. So you're going to find that next chain, which is right here, and you're going to do the same thing. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. Again, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, 
yarn over, pull through two. And that completes your sprig stitch. So to complete row one, you're going to skip two chains and you're going to make two single crochets in the next chain. So skip the next two chains, so one and two, and in the chain after that, you want to make two single crochets. So one and two. And then you're going to make two chains. So again, one and two. And in the next chain after that, you're going to make two single crochets. And you're just going to repeat this all the way down to the very end until you have two chains left. So again, skip the next two chains. And in the chain after that, make two single crochets, chain two, and in the next chain, two single crochets. Okay, skip two chains, and in the chain after that, you're going to make a single crochet, and another single crochet, in that same chain, chain two, and in that very next chain, you're going to make two single crochets. Okay. Now you're coming up to the very end and you should have two chains left. You're going to skip one chain and make a single crochet into that very last chain. Okay, and then this is what your first row of your sprig stitch blanket will look like. You're going to go ahead and chain up three and turn. So one, two and three. Okay, so to start row two, you're going to make two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets in each of the chain two spaces across. So you're just going to look, you're going to skip all this right here. You're going to find that chain two space and you're going to work everything into that chain two space. So again, insert your hook into that chain two space, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. So you're going to make two single crochets, chain two, and then two more single crochets after that. All in that same chain two space. So basically you want your stitches to be stacked right on top of one another. just like that. So next you're going to skip over this whole section right here. You're going to find that next chain two space and make two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets, all in that same chain two space. Find your next chain two space and make two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets. Find your next chain two space and work two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets. And again, you're just going to repeat that across until you get to the very end of your blanket. When you get to the very end, you're going to make one single crochet in the top of that turning chain. So you're going to find your two single crochets, which is right here and here. You're going to skip those and you're going to find the top of your turning chain. And you're just going to go right in and make a single crochet. 
and this is what row two looks like. So now for every row after that, all you're going to do is repeat row two. So again, you're going to chain three and turn in every chain two space that you see, you're going to work two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets. And again, you want all of your sprig stitches to line up right on top of one another in order to keep everything balanced. So I'm going to go ahead and do one more row with you and then I will leave you to finish your blanket and then I will meet back up with you at the end in order to show you how to make the top of your blanket. So you're going to find that chain two space again and inside you're going to make two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets. Now this is a very nice and easy blanket if you want to just sit in front of the TV and just crochet along with that. It's a very easy one row repeat blanket that you can pretty much pick up in no time. I think beginners would really enjoy this blanket as well as more experienced crocheters that just want something simple to do and simple to make. Now for my baby blanket I ended up opting out of a border However, if you wanted to make a border for your baby blanket, you can certainly do that, but I chose not to make a border for this particular blanket. Okay, so I'm coming up at the end. So remember you have that chain three, so count up three. So one, two, and three. In the top of that chain three space, you're gonna make a single crochet. And this is what your rows are starting to look like. So you're just gonna repeat this process over and over again until you get the desired length of your blanket. Again, my blanket ended up being about 34 inches long. So just make your blanket about 33 inches, I'm sorry, about 34 inches and or your desired length and I will go ahead and meet up with you at the end and show you how to make that straight edge across the top of your blanket. Okay, so this is what your blanket is going to start to look like. Again, all of your sprig stitches should be lining up right on top of one another as you're just working inside the chain two spaces. So if we go ahead and look at the blanket again real fast, you'll notice that at the top, I wanted a straight edge to the top of my blanket instead of having that kind of little bit of a shell look to it. So I will show you how to make that straight edge across the top of your baby blanket. Okay, so to make that last row, all you're gonna do is chain up two and turn your work. In that very first stitch right here, you're going to make a half double crochet. So to make a half double crochet, you're going to do yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three of those loops. Next, you're going to go into that chain two space and make two single crochets. So one and two. Next, you're going to go in between your two shells, so your shell right here and your shell right here. You're going to go right in between and make a double crochet. So to make a double crochet, yarn over your hook. You want to go right in that space in between, just right here. Yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over, pull through the last two loops. Next, you're going to repeat this across, so you're going to go into that chain two space and make two single crochets, so one and two. 
in between the shells you're again going to make a double crochet so yarn over your hook and in between right here of your shells you're going to make your double crochet so yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the first two loops yarn over pull through the last two loops again in the next chain two space you're going to make two single crochets in between your two shell stitches you're going to make a double crochet in that chain two space two single crochets and then when you get to the very end in your chain three space you're going to make on the top of that chain three you're going to make a half double crochet So at the beginning and at the very end you're going to make a half double crochet and in between you're going to make two single crochets in the chain two space and in between each of those shells you're going to make a double crochet and as you can see that really makes everything nice and neat and it makes sure that everything is nice and straight. So go ahead and complete that across and then I will show you how to weave in your ends and complete your blanket. Okay, so once you've finished your blanket, all you're going to do is take your scissors and leave a tail. So you want to leave a tail of about that length to weave in. You're going to do yarn over your hook and pull through to complete and then you're going to tighten up that knot at the end. Then you could, you're going to get your tapestry needle and you're going to weave in your yarn ends. So what I like to do is I kind of just go in between these stitches and I like to go back and forth three times just to make sure that everything is nice and secure. So just going in between your stitches. And pulling that tail through your work and then I like to go in another stitch and go back and then one more time I like to go the opposite way and I just think for me it helps the yarn tail to really hide and not come undone And then you will cut the yarn close to the fabric and you will do the same thing with all your other yarn ends and then that way you can't see it at all. So this is the Sprig Stitch Baby Blanket. I wonder what colors you're going to end up making if you decide to make this baby blanket. Are you going to do self-striping yarn like I did? Are you going to do a solid color? Are you going to change up the colors to make it striped effect? The colors are pretty, the possibilities are pretty much endless and really up to you on what you would like to do. But I really liked this self-striping yarn. Again, it was the Karen Cake Lovely Layers collection and I used the color Sugared Blueberries and I just thought it was a really pretty color to use for a baby blanket. So this completes my tutorial. I hope you really enjoyed learning about how to make the Sprig Stitch Baby Blanket. I hope you give this blanket a try. And if you end up making this blanket and you have an Instagram account, feel free to leave me a comment or tag me in your post using the, ha using the hashtag Amanda Crochets. And then that way I will be able to see what colors you ended up using. So thank you so much for joining me today on how to make the Sprig Stitch Baby Blanket. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see all future videos by me. And as always, happy crocheting. Bye.